everybody. Greg Peterson from Your Guide to Green. Today I'm down in Tucson, Arizona, visiting with my buddy Brad Lancaster. He's the rainwater and graywater har harvesting guru, written several books on it. And we're going to show you his graywater laundry system that he's got set up. Hi, I'm Brad Lancaster. I'm the author of Rainwater Harvesting for Drylands and Beyond. And I'm going to tell you about our very simple multi-pipe gray water harvesting system for our washing machine. And you can get a lot more info on this at my website, harvestingrainwater.com. So, basically the way it works is we've got this efficient, top-loading, horizontal axis washing machine. And it only uses 10 gallons of water per load. It's made by the Staber uh, Company, a family-owned, uh, American-made, uh, well, family-owned company, American-made product from Ohio. And uh, when we do a load of laundry, we're loading the clothes in here, and we just take two seconds to grab the drain hose from behind the washing machine and stick it into the next pipe, always moving in a clockwise fashion, so that you then have the orange tree pipe sends the gray water to the orange tree. And the next load of wash, we would move it to the peach tree. This time, every this way, every time you do a load of wash, the that washes uh, gray water goes to a different tree. So you're always distributing the gray water to different points and irrigating different trees. And let's say a peach tree needs extra water, we just leave it on here for two loads. And on a conventional home, you would want one more pipe, and that would go right here, and it would say sewer, and that's where you would send your toxins like chlorinated bleach. You can only send good gray water down these pipes to your landscape. You have to use appropriate soaps. This is uh, my favorite. It's Oasis uh, brand uh, laundry detergent. It has no salt in it. And you've got to be careful on this because there's a lot of brands out there like Trader Joe's 7th generation that say they're gray water friendly and it's not true in the western US. Their, their product contains a lot of sodium, a lot of salt, so always look at the ingredients. Don't look at the label. The label's lies. Look at the ingredients. If you see salt or sodium, put it back on the shelf and get a different product, like Oasis or Biopack. Um, they're, they're all right for the landscape. Um, but uh, let's say someone is using toxins like chlorinated bleach for just one load. They could send that to the sewer and then contaminate the larger water system, not just their own landscape water system. I just throw that in there as a joke, but also a reminder, we have to always be conscious that there is no such thing as away in that term, throw it away. We can't throw anything away, as it will always come back in the form of our water, food, air, or children. So, let's see where the gray water goes when we take the drain hose from the washer and stick it in the fig tree pipe. Let's see how that water is outletted to the fig tree. Okay, so here you see the gray water coming out of the fig tree pipe to irrigate the basin uh, in which we have the fig tree planted. And the uh, key thing with the systems that I prefer is that they use natural systems to power them. So all the water is distributed with gravity. There's no pumps, no moving parts. Um, and so it's very simple, inexpensive to install, and easy to maintain. So the soil and vegetation is the living filter. We do not store any gray water. If you store gray water in a tank, it starts to stink. So here, water just comes out of the pipe, goes immediately under the mulch, into the soil. The water is uptaken by the roots of the plants here at Calendula with edible flower petals a wild chili coming out of its winter dormancy, and a canadria fig also coming out of its winter dormancy. Um, so we basically turn our dirty laundry into beautiful vegetation and edible produce in the form of organic figs, wild chilies, and edible flowers. Uh, and uh, the other great thing about all this is we irrigate all these fruit trees with no potable drinking water which is what comes out of people's hoses. Um, we irrigate instead, primarily with rainwater, passively captured in the sunken rain garden, the water coming off the rooftops on either side and collecting here, 
and then the gray water. So no drinking water used, but we found we didn't do enough laundry in the hot summer months of June to keep things thriving. So we invited our neighbors to use our washing machine, and it, our washing machine has thus become a neighborhood laundromat with about seven households using it. So we have more than enough gray water to irrigate our fruit trees, and even better still, the whole thing is solar powered. So if you look up here, you can see where we disconnected from the grid. We are a standalone solar powered household. We have batteries for nighttime electrical use. All right, thanks for virtually visiting my site. For more information, you can go to harvestingrainwater.com and your guide to green, where you can get Oasis Soap, available online.